know if you all can see that, but it says 3.57 a.m. This is the life of a salmon fisherman. Wake up <laughs> entirely too early. I mean, bright and early is bad enough, but dark and early is rough. Here we go. Hi, this is Scott Turner from Solo Outdoors. I'm just going to take a minute here and uh, show your setup for salmon fishing, some of the hooks we use, and uh, how to tie it up. So I'm going to show you our basic setup here. Uh, first we're going to start with a hook. I like to use about a 2 aught to 3 aught owners. Gamakatsu is a great brand, uh, whatever your personal preference is. And I've tied that up onto my leader with an egg loop knot on some 40 pound trilene big game monofilament. I also run 40 pound big game on my on my reel, on my pole. Uh, it might seem a little heavy, but I'm telling you what, if you hook a good fish and it breaks your line because your line was too light, you're gonna be angry. So I've tied this up with an egg loop knot, and basically an egg loop knot, it looks a lot like a snelled knot, but the difference is, your knot slides down the shank of your hook, it so you can shove your line back through, creating this loop. It's pretty handy dandy for uh, using egg row sacks, and uh, we've taken a 40 pound monofilament here and put about a 24 to 30 inch leader. I like to have a nice long leader on there. And we're going to tie that on to a number five barrel swivel. We're just going to tie that on with a good old fisherman's knot. Make some twists around, do the loop, back to the loop we made. Cinch that down good. Next, we're, we're going to work on the sinker. And what I've got here is some quarter inch surgical tubing. I've cut off about a two inch piece. And what I like to do here is I keep about a four or five aught hook in my tackle. And what I do with that is I'm going to use that to puncture the surgical tubing. We're going to go about a half an inch down, puncture it all the way through both sides. Like so. Pull that guy out. And then we're going to take the clip on our barrel swivel and run that through that hole we just made all the way through. Clip it down just like that. Then we're going to take our piece of quarter inch pencil lead and when I cut that piece of lead off there's always kind of some rough edges around it. What I like to do is I'll scrape it, rub it on a rock just to smooth those edges down because what that does is it makes it easier to put it inside the surgical tubing. And I'm here to tell you if you break off a lot, which you will, at the end of the day your fingers are going to be really sore from shoving that surgical tubing over that pencil lead. Like so. Next, we're going to put our main line on, coming from our pole, and we're going to tie this on to the middle loop of the barrel swivel. You just tie it on with a good old fisherman's knot, like so. Cinch that guy down. And so when you're done, that setup is going to look just like that. So that your sinker is hanging down on that clip on the barrel swivel. And then your main line is going to come off the end. Next we're going to add our yarns. We're going to slide that knot down, pull that loop out, and get our favorite color of yarn here, which mine would have to be red. Had a lot of success over the years. Got a lot of salmon this year on it. Put that through, cinch it down. And then we're going to take our scissors here, which these scissors are really handy for cutting lines, for cutting yarn, and we're going to trim that up, just like so. And I believe this part to be really key for salmon fishing. A lot of people will put a big old piece of yarn on here, just glob it on there, big old bait. I actually like to keep mine small, compact. I will trim it down so that the yarn does not go past the end of the shank of the hook. So we're going to trim that guy down right there just a little bit, just like that. If you don't know how to make the egg loop knot, what you can do is just put like a fisherman's knot on there and you can just tie a piece of yarn onto the end. So basically you're just going to tie like one knot, just a plain old knot, tighten that guy down, and same thing, we're going to come in with our scissors, trim that down, trim that down so it doesn't exceed the end of our hook. And you can put different color combinations on there. A lot of times red and white works really great. Uh, I've seen green and orange work great. And 
that's our yarn setup. I personally like to use scents. A lot of people don't. Uh, who knows if it really works or not? But if nothing else, if it gives you confidence in what you're throwing at these salmon, then great. Uh, it works great for me. And that's your setup. You're good. Check out these crazy dudes. <laughs> We're gonna traverse the falls. <laughs> yes, sir. So they, they get stuck on the rock down there. That's pretty sweet. That's a good hook. Good enough. A native as well. A native? Gosh. Yeah, and that's a good hook too. Nice. Big old native. Native. Hey. That's a toad. Pull that dude up. That's a monster native. That's a 38, 40 inch. Hey, hold him up once. Let me see that guy. Yeah, you get a picture with it? Uh, you can try, hurry. You're batting a thousand, bud. Come on, buddy. You want to net it? Let's take a video of it. Try to net it? Yeah. Hang video. Yeah. Don't do it, buddy. Here's coming. Yeah, raise up. It's down. Are you over? Go down where your dad's at. Walk down where your dad's at. Real slow.
Yo, Jimmy, he's gonna go around that way. Did you already turn it loose? No. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay, you're ready. Okay. Two hands out, two hands. Put one that's in the head, one in the head. I guess that's, I guess that's one way to let it go. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Good job. Good job. Oh gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Got a big old head on it. Yeah, he does. Mm -hmm. 